What's up guys, Spinfire Arms here, and this was just a thought I've had over the last week or so. With all these crazy firearms and concepts and stuff like the X Macro and um, the GX4 XL and stuff like that coming out, it really makes people think. So, out of any firearm company, Taurus probably has one of the best stories when it comes to making a comeback, at least for right now. They've absolutely been killing it. Um, they have a horrible reputation. I know they've um, made some like production movement like to the U.S. where now they're producing most of the firearms and components and stuff like that in the U.S. I believe it's Georgia, Bainbridge, Georgia, I, I want to say. Anyways, there's a lot of people that hate on Taurus because of their reputation. But as you see online, as you see on, I don't know if you guys ever go to budsgunshop.com. Anyways, they list their best sellers. Taurus GX4 and Taurus G3C and G2C are always on that list. They're always on the best sellers. Um, for the last two years or so, those firearms have been at the top of the list. And I can only imagine how many firearms they've sold. Yes, they're cheaper, but they are selling massive amounts of Taurus. And you can see that by the polls I do, the videos on YouTube, the fact that I have a bunch, you know, I have Tauruses. Um, basically, everyone I know has a Taurus right now. A lot of people don't carry them, but they are great firearms. Now, what is that going to do? For the market you have stuff like the X macro at $800 and then you have stuff like the GX4 that shoots so clean so smooth for such a small firearm at $259 on buds right now um, like where do those meet like there's no way that the um, X macro shoots $500 better than that Taurus GX4 the GX4 is an amazing shooter it's been 100% reliable since I got it returned from Taurus um, as have my G3C's they've been 100% reliable as well so if you have two firearms that are reliable and so many people are buying these and making these a bestseller, that's just going to take Glock and Sig and they're going to have to lower the prices. And also they're forcing Glock into this weird position right now where they have to do something. I think they may have leaked the, um, the AR-15 from Glock themselves. I think all the attention that's gone on the X macro and stuff like that um, has forced Glock's hand and they have to do something different. So I think they went the AR-15 route just to buy them some time until they figure something out because I think that at this point if Gen 6 Glocks come out and there's no big change you know if it's simply like how they did from Gen 3 to Gen 4 or Gen 4 to Gen 5 um, I think people are gonna start going away from it people why would you spend six hundred dollars on the same firearm you know people call it the same firearm whereas like there's two hundred or three hundred dollars optic ready out the box reliable firearms from Taurus but anyways, I think having Taurus in the fire ministry is a great thing. Having a company with a terrible reputation like that, they make a lot of changes, bring in a lot of new people, and then they make this comeback. I think it's, you know, I think they right now are, are winning this whole entire, you know, matchup. They are really killing it right now. SIG, yeah, they're making, um, not making everyone excited with stuff like the X macro and stuff like that. But Taurus is making literally everyone excited because everyone likes to save money and everyone likes good shooting firearms that are cheap. Anyways, just my thoughts. Thanks for watching.